Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to another old school video. So I currently have a clue scroll in the bank and it requires me to complete the swan song quest and I need to do quests anyways for recipe for disaster for the quest points. So I need 62 fishing to be able to complete this. That is the only requirement I miss and I'm currently at 53 fishing and if I click here and fish just a bit I'm going to get 54 there we go. So I'm also going to get some agility and strength experience, but it, it's so minor I'm not going to get any levels for it. But yeah, I'm going to get back to you guys with some levels. 55, 57, 59, 61, hey, 62, now I'm done. Okay, now that I am 62 fishing, let's see what the reward for this casket is. Okay, that's the worst reward I've ever seen. So to be able to do Swan Song, I need to do Creature of Frankenstein as well, because I need to do Garden of Tranquility, and then after those two quests, I can do the quest. I have all the other requirements. Okay, that's the first quest, Creature of Frankenstein completed for 1000 thieving experience and two quest points. Okay, that's the Garden of Tranquility quest. I can do the Swan Song now, and I have 140 quest points and 179 experience to 44 farming. Okay, there we go, that's the swan song completed, and I can now do the hard clue scroll step. Hopefully there are no other requirements to be able to complete this hard clue scroll, this took a while. I don't think I got any levels, but I got a bunch of fishing experience, and I got prayer and magic. Okay, I have the casket, let's see what the reward is going to be, hopefully it's going to be <laughs> worth it to do all that questing. Okay, that is 50k, that's okay, I guess. Okay, so I got 23 Skeletal Vibrance, I'm back to Slayer, I want to get 85 as soon as possible, because the Abyssal Demons give so much money. I actually got a Kursk uh, Helmet, or the Kursk head, head from one of the Kursk tasks that I just did, which is like 1 in 3000 drop rates. Uh, but I also want to get my Slayer tab to like 10 mil, I think it's like 8.5 right now, so I'm getting there. Alright, so another hard casket here. I'm not sure what clips I'm going to show during Slayer, but Clues is definitely one of them. Okay, so 36k, that's even worse than the last one. Okay, hopefully this one will be a bit more than 36k, let's see what we get. Open this casket, and 140k, that is definitely a better hard clue. I got blood velts as a new task, by the way. I have a really good feeling about this hard clue, let's get this one open and get 450k. That's not 450k, that's 73k, alright. Nice, 88 strength with 1425 total level, and also I'm now 108 combat, so I got a combat level as well. And with 62 blood builds left, we get a superior creature. The chances of getting an imbued heart from these is very, very low, but I got at least 4.1k Slayer, which is great. Another hard clue from the blood build task, let's see what this one gives me. Please more than 72k that my last one gave me. Um, oh, that is definitely more. The Guthix item is always great to get. 280k, definitely better. As usual, I go to Konar for my Milestone Slayer task, so that is 210 tasks for 90 points. I have almost 500 points now. Decided to just do some easy quests for some quest points, so that is Doric's quest completed. I want to get to 150 quest points for another block. And we have Imp Catcher about to be completed for one quest point again and 875 magic experience and an amulet of accuracy not really the best reward you can get so many easy quests i haven't done so feels good to get them off the list that is uh, which potion completed now this is an easy quest that gives so many points like look at this sheep herder is absurd four quest points it took me like 10 minutes to do this so one quest point more to 150 really nice Okay, so this is going to be the quest Monk's Friend that gives me 150 quest points. So with all the points that I have now, I only need 100 to block another creature. So the next time I get an annoying one, I'm going to block it. And obviously I'll let you guys know which one that is going to be. If you have any suggestions, please let me know as well. When this animation of dancing is over, I'm going to actually get the quest point. I have no idea how long this is. It might be like 10 years. I have Oh, there we go. Okay, 2000 woodcutting experience and one quest point for that 150. I got this master clue like ages ago when I was like 60 or 70 combat from Barrows and I didn't even dare to complete it, but the first step I can definitely complete and overall I might be able to complete it. Okay, the first step is completed, the puzzle is done, beautiful gnome right there, let's talk to Edward and get the next step and let's see if we can complete this. Yes, we definitely can, that's easy. I'm going to assume that now that I have to dig I'm going to have to fight something, grow up or leave. Uh, okay, this is a new creature I've never seen in uh, old school runescape or RS3 for that matter. Uh, it seems to be doing quite a lot of damage. Wait, is that melee damage or magic? I have no idea. <laughs> I might try to pray melee next time, but it's almost dead now, so I'm just going to kill it. It's not that hard anyways. 
Uh, but it definitely it's way more than the elite clue monsters. You can just protect magic versus this. Let's see what the next step is. And it is... Oh, it's a hot and cold thing. I hate those. So apparently I had to actually complete another quest to be able to do this, which was the making history, I think it was called. So I'm about to complete that right now. It was a fairly easy quest and it's even more quest points. Three quest points, really, really nice. I need 168 anyways for recipe for disaster. So any quest points that I can get is going to be very useful. But let's talk to him again and I should get a strange device that I can use to uh, locate where I need to dig for this master clue. So let's see if I can get that. Um, I can't even be honest reading. Okay, there we go. The strange device. There we go. So let's uh, see if I can find this now. It shouldn't be too hard actually. Okay, here we go. I found it after like 10 minutes or something, I think. Uh, okay, so I have to kill another one of these. Uh, I'm going to try to pray melee this time. Seems to be hitting more zeros now. So I guess maybe... Me oh, but it still hits me. Okay, so I guess me maybe it's ranged actually. I guess it's actually ranged. If it's not ranged, then it's just unblockable damage, I guess. But it's not too bad anyways. I, I actually restocked on food before I uh, I fought this anyways, because it was so close to a bank uh, now that I'm just at the Shanty Pass. So let's see what the next step is. Hopefully it's something I can actually do. Uh, is that a fairy ring teleport? Maybe. Let's see if I can get there, actually. I have no idea. It was not actually a fairy ring teleport, but I could definitely get here, so let's see what this one is. Oh, this is like the Sherlock one, but for Master Clues. Okay, this might be a roadblock for me. Okay, let's see what I'm going to get from Follow the Bard. Uh, I'm not, I don't mind a requirement that requires me to do something, like get some levels or something, but if it's really insane, that's going to suck. A Fury Axe of Great Inferno. Oh, I need to get the Inferno Axe, I think. I, I have no idea if it's... A quest requirement in old school runescape or what it is actually oh so it's not a quest requirement but i need 85 fire making and 61 wood cutting 61 wood cutting is very easy i'm already 51 but 50 to 85 fire making oh that's going to be quite a challenge but i'm going to do it for sure luckily i was at least over level 50 which means i can do winter todd and this is just insane fire making experience i have to kind of get into it though how it works fully but it really shouldn't be that hard i've seen quite a lot of people do this so every single video i'm going to do a bit of fire making and in the end we will get there and i will be able to complete the master clue and getting that fire making up all the way to 85 is going to be so good Winter Todd is so insanely good experience. I'm going to show you guys. Okay, I've done 12 Winter Todds and I just got 61 fire making all the way from 50. So I have, I'm not sure, 12 supply crates, I guess, because I've done 12 of them. So I'm going to go out and open all of them, but this is going to be the end of this video after I open them because I want to not do 50 to 85 fire making in one sitting. Uh, I'm going to do it slowly over a few videos, so I'm going to probably do like 10 levels per video. So I'm going to do next video 71 and then after that 81 or maybe all the way to 85. We will see. But let's open all these crates and see what I get. I'm not sure. Oh, I got the tor torch instantly. I don't know how rare that is, but that seems pretty good. Okay. Item from the first one. Nothing special here. I'm just going to press this pretty quickly. I just want the gear. I think what uh, the gear does that you get from this is reduces the damage you take or something. Like uh, the frequency of the damage ticks. Maybe I'm wrong. If I am wrong, please let me know. I got some pages. I'm not sure how much these are worth, but maybe they're worth quite a lot. I'm going to do a price check after here. And I got no items other than the torch, but I got something at least. So let's see what the price check is going to be. I have to remove my axe after as well. Let's do that. 144k. That's actually not that bad. The pages are quite a lot of that money. 70k, but... Yeah, that's some extra money that I will get for doing this. And sure, it costs some sharks to actually do this. Uh, because I take quite a lot of damage with my high HP. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Hopefully I will be able to complete that master clue pretty soon.